Hi everyone, I'm Miss Tiffany and welcome back to another video of Korean Club. In the last video, we discussed manners and then dove into everything food. We learned how to say certain fruits and foods in Korean and explored table etiquettes as well as how to express hunger and giving thanks for your food. On top of that, we learned the delivery culture of Korea. So in this video, this will be like a continuation, except we're doing something a little different here. This video will be a voiceover, so you will not see me in this lesson. However, I will still provide visuals for you all today. As I said, this video will be a continuation of eating culture. So this time I will present a collection of popular dishes along with a short description of them. In this collection, I hope we can see the diversity of the culture and it will allow us inside of it as well. So let's get started. The first food we have is bibimbap. 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 I couldn't really find a direct English translation to this but a rough translation would be mixed rice with many variations of meat and vegetables. Rice can be found as the base of the bowl and vegetables are placed on top. As you can see in the picture provided, this is a very colorful dish. This is thanks to the many vegetables present. This dish is mostly made vegan and vegetarian. The common vegetables you may see in this dish are cucumbers, carrots, seaweed, kimchi, mushrooms, spinach, bean sprouts, and although not a vegetable or a vegan, an egg. Bibimbap can be served either hot or cold, and bibimbap tends to have soy sauce or is sprinkled with sesame seeds on top. This next dish is my all-time favorite. This is bulgogi, 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 or in English, marinated barbecue beef. At restaurants, it is cooked on a grill, which can be found in the middle of a table. Or at home, it is cooked on an at-home grill or skillet. The beef is marinated with a sweet yet savory sauce that can give you that delicious taste. And when cooking the beef, it is cut with scissors, as opposed to with a knife. This is mostly a Western versus Eastern cultural difference, but to me, it makes more sense to cut with scissors because it seems safer and can provide more of a precise cut. Bulgogi is a popular yet expensive dish because of the type of grade of meat used but to me is worth the price. Bulgogi is greatly paired with lettuce and other vegetables. It can be eaten in a lettuce wrap. This is where you take the lettuce flat and put the meat in it. Then you add other vegetables of your choosing. You then roll it up with all of its contents inside and stuff it into your mouth. It's really good having all of the different flavors and textures on your palate. I definitely recommend it. Okay, so the next dish we have is topoki. 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 Or spicy rice cake in the English translation. As you can see in the picture provided, by its color, you can tell it's spicy. But just as it is spicy, it is delicious. Actually, if you look closely into it, it kind of looks like Chef Bayardi's beefaroni, but I can guarantee that it does not taste like that. Matter of fact, the noodles aren't noodles at all. It is rice cake. Rice that has been pressed and altered into looking like thick and chewy noodles. As for the spicy sauce, it is made out of red chili pepper paste and red chili pepper flakes. Those are two popular and frequently used ingredients in other Korean dishes. Although it can make a food spicy, it can also just provide enough kick to enhance its flavor. 
Following right after the topoki is kimbap. 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 Or seaweed rice rolls in English. Kimbap is kind of like your sushi. Kimbap is rice wrapped in seaweed and inside the rice are various vegetables and seafoods. Kimbap can simply be made with vegetables, but I have also seen it with tuna as well. Like in the picture, it comes in a small circular shape, bite size if you will. Kimbap is also pretty versatile because it can be eaten as a meal or snack. When eaten as a meal, you can see it being paired with many side dishes. Or when eaten as a snack, they can be eaten by itself, especially when you get it from a convenience store. When sold in a convenience store, you might find it in a shape of a triangle. As it is in a triangle shape, it becomes easy on the go eating. Here is Sanggyetang. 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 In English, Jensen chicken soup. I know just by looking at the picture, you can see that it looks very similar to Western style chicken noodle soup. As there are no noodles present in this dish, there is a chicken. In fact, a whole chicken sitting in the middle of the pot. Despite how big the dish may look, it is typically a one-person portion size meal. Additionally, unlike our Western culture, where we tend to eat our chicken soup during the cold weather and flu season, Sankyatang is eaten in the summer. It is said that this dish helps restore stamina and improves one health during the hot seasons. So it is frequently eaten in the summer. Inside the chicken, rice, and a variety of vegetables can be found. Other times, nuts like walnuts can be found as well. Another dish in this collection is tansuyok. 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 Tansuyok is sweet and sour pork in English. You all might be familiar with this dish as it is also popular in America. Just in chicken and not pork. Tansuyok is a Korean style of a popular Chinese dish. As you can see in this picture, it is much healthier as the sweet and sour sauce is not drenched onto, but is poured and it is covered in colorful vegetables. The sauce is also like a complement more than the main attraction of the meal. Okay, up next is the pantans. 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 Pantans is the general term for side dishes. Side dishes can be present in almost every meal. You may see from three up to 12 different side dishes on the table. The cool thing is that at restaurants, side dishes are free and refillable. And most side dishes are fermented vegetables. In the picture provided, we can see a few popular pontons. Cucumbers, radishes, which can be found cubed or shredded, miso soup, bean sprouts, and pumpkin. And last but not least, we have the staples to almost an any Korean meal. That is kimchi and rice. Kimchi and rice can also be considered as panchons. Kimchi is fermented cabbages mixed in red chili pepper paste, red chili pepper flakes, fish sauce, as well as other ingredients. Kimchi can be fermented for a long time, from a few weeks to months to achieve that perfect taste. As for rice, many Korean homes own a rice cooker 
to help achieve that perfect consistency. Well, there you have it, you guys. We just went over some popular Korean dishes. Bibimbap, bulgogi, topoki, kimbap, sanggyetang, tansuyuk, panchans, kimchi, and rice. We've explored them and hopefully gained more insight on the Korean culture than we had before. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This video probably made everyone hungry. Maybe after this quarantine is over, take the time to visit your local Korean restaurant and try some of these dishes. And don't forget to put into practice the manners and eating etiquettes we have talked about earlier as well. Until next time, 잘 가요!